Hi there, Chris from Riders of the Cosmic Serpent here with another battle report for you. In this battle report, it'll be Apocalypse with three objectives. With the objectives were roughly placed, one closest to my deployment zone, and one in the middle, and one in the Necron deployment zone. The objectives are the kind of the flat little tile things there. And so for the Eldar deployment, Guardians take over the bunkers. They both have Warlocks. Got a half of a Sunstorm squadron set up behind the bunker, grabbing a little bit of cover. We've got uh, Storm Guardians deployed in a crater, backed up by Dire Avengers and War Walkers with Star Cannons, and some more Guardian Defenders set up on that landing pad, and the rest of the Sunstorm squadron set up behind that, and awaiting the, uh, the vile Necrons. And the Warwalkers are equipped with Star Cannons. And the Guardian Squads all had Missile Launchers as well. And so for the Necrons, they have a Pylon, a Monolith, a whole bunch of Warriors. And they had a um, special character with uh, Lords with the, um, with the crazy Lance Weapons. And then we have a Satan Shard here hiding in the building. And then we got a whole bunch of scarabs with the uh, spiders proxied by, uh, by destroyers. Have a command barge and a whole bunch of warriors hiding in here. The warriors are all part of a formation with the pylon. And we have a ghost arc with some warriors hiding in the back. Why all the Necrons felt like they had to hide, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> And so the Necrons fail in stealing the first turn from the Eldar. And so the Eldar get things going by moving a fire prism to get into position to put the full concentrated blast down at the um, down at the monolith. I think it was concentrated at a warrior, but it was the full 10-inch blast, and so it was it was catching like the monolith and a whole bunch of stuff. Managed to knock down one of those lords. And the blast manages to knock down a bunch of warriors in the middle. Uh, I think it only managed to shake the monolith, or mobilize the monolith. And it destroyed the command barge in the back. And so, on Necron turn, it spawns a bunch of scarabs and they all surge forward along with the Satan Shard. The Lord with the bunch of... I think they were... Mortals, or I don't know the close combat guys that are really tough. Anyway, they were they deployed forward or deep struck forward, and so the Lord in the command barge has to start walking now. And of course, they move forward. The Eldar getting ready for these charges, and I don't think that that. Lord got back up the... I can't remember what the heck that lance weapon's called. And so Eldar turn two. Miss launchers firing down the line at the uh, warriors and such. Dire Avengers blade storm that Lord and his unit. Oya oh, yeah, and the um, the pylon managed to kill two of the uh, war walkers as well. And the fire prisms prepare to fire upon the uh, scarabs. And my wild rider host comes in through the flank with the one squad targeting the warriors the vipers and such targeting warriors spreading their fire they all have star cannons and the far seers and the autark were going for the pylon with their singing spears and other stuff managed to knock down all those warriors but because he had that stupid ghost arc there he manages to roll for them and all the Lord here standing by himself is, but he manages to keep that squad potentially alive if he makes all his rolls. And so the Sunstorm Squadron managed to wipe out all those scarabs, but didn't manage to wound that uh, Satan, or he, I think you believe he saved against it. And so the Farseers and the Autark don't manage to do anything against that pylon with the shooting and managing to get a hand in hand with that thing. And so roll into Necron turn, 
the Necrons move forward. The uh, monolith is still just sitting there. The Satan Shard continues to advance on the guardians of the building. And the spiders continue to try and spawn more scarabs, which are really annoying. And so then the Lord attacks the Dire Avengers, and he manages to win the combat and force them to fall back. And so the warriors engage those jet bikes and manage to kill a few of them, but they hold fast. These all, uh, the characters and such, all manage to take wounds. Uh, the pylon used the one where it can kind of put out like a lightning arc all around it, and a whole bunch of stuff got hurt from it. It's like 18 inches, and the vipers were getting hit, and all sorts of stuff was getting hit. And so the vipers regroup with the rest of the army. The dire avengers and storm guardians advance on the lord and his unit, backed up by the guardian unit. Going to put some fire down the line. The sunstorm squadron manages to combine their fire again and I believe they were going for more scarabs and so the satan shard I believe a couple of the uh, guardians and such were taking shots at the satan shard but don't manage to do anything the farseers and the autar continue to try and destroy that pylon but just just can't seem to do it with a fusion gun and a couple singing spears and then attacking in hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, like, that pylon was really lucky and it, it, it just was taking too long to kill that thing. And so here the Satan, he manages to end up taking a wound. And, oh yeah, the Sunstorm, that's what it was. And the Sunstorm managed to hit this, uh, the spiders. And the pylon is finally destroyed. And the Guardians and Dire Avengers win the combat, manage to knock down the Lord and all his retinue, and so deploy themselves so that the uh, Necrons couldn't uh, get the reanimation role as there was no room for them to come in. And so when Necron turned three, and things are already starting to look pretty bad for the Necrons, they start shooting into the characters that are advancing through their center. The Scarab Swarm advances to try and take out the Guardians in the bunker. And they manage to get just in within range. And the Satan manages to climb up into the bunker as well. Where he'll be in a position to charge them and hopefully clear it out. But he manages to win the combat and force the survivors out of the bunker. And so he pursues them uh, so that they can't regroup. But he forgot that any unit below 50% can't regroup anyway. And so the Scarabs, as they were contributing, managed their consolidation move, but they only managed to go two inches. And so he tries to grab some cover from the rest of the Eldar, as he really wants this part to be a kind of a distraction for, for my forces. And so the other Guardian Defender Squad rushes to the other side of the bunker to target the Scarabs, along with the Warwalker and support. All the Fire Prisms begin targeting the Satan, and they're doing their focused blasts. The jet bikes, having regrouped and everything, focus in through the center along with the fire seer. He's going to use his singing spear on that monolith. And so the storm guardians and dire avengers take that objective in closest to our deployment zone. And the other objective is right there by the uh, ruined Aquila symbol. And the other objective is right by that door right in front of the monolith. And so. They manage to wipe out a few more of the warriors in the center, trying to whittle them down, break them, and just so they can't contest that. And so really what we're looking for is just a one nothing kind of kind of victory for the Eldar. Hopefully we can pull that off. And so the Storm Guardians surge forward while the Dire Avengers are going to hang back and hang on to that objective. The Fire Prisms manage to take the Satan Shard down to one wound. And the Guardian Defenders attack the Scarabs and force it them all to be all gone. And so a Necron turn, uh, one of the Trazar, I think his name is. I can't remember what the heck that guy's name is. And so Necrons are starting to finally get moving here. and It's just a Lord and a Warrior. And so there's a Scarab base in, in combat with the Farseer. And I think I lost the Autark by this point from scarab bases and the spiders and the ghost are coming through the center 
of those buildings there to reinforce that objective that's closest to their deployment zone. And so the Necrons try to use their portal, that portal on the monolith to suck in the Fire Seer, but the Fire Seer manages to destroy it in the hand-to-hand -hand combat phase. And so that leads us into Eldar turn five, where the Eldar continue to lay fire down the line. Satan managed to destroy that one fire prism. And so the, everybody in behind the back line, Sunstorm Squadron, everything, they target the Satan. Guardian defenders, or Storm Guardians, attack that building where the objective is so that they can contest or control it. The Fire Seer again helps the uh, that attack. Vipers and such, everybody is pouring fire into that Satan. It's really annoying, especially when it's really tough and with a four and vulnerable save. And oof. And so that lonely Farseer has to take on those scarab bases all on his lonesome. And so we managed to destroy the Satan. And there was much rejoicing. And there's warriors inside that building and they're contesting the objective. And of course the two squads are engaged with each other. And so it's looking pretty grim for the Necrons. And so on Necron turn 5, the Ghost Ark with warriors inside of it boosts, boosts up closest to that objective with the Lord covering them and the warriors inside the building are fighting with the storm guardians on the outside but because it's becoming a stalemate in that center you no know, ground is given and so with that the game ended the game ends with Eldar controlling one Necrons and Eldar contesting the middle and the Necrons controlling the one in their deployment zone leaving this game hard fought battle necrons just would not die leaving this game a big fat draw <laughs> and so much carnage so much i'll have it all to end in a draw <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe thank you